Hey guys, it's Amanda. I am doing this video today to show you my updated foundation routine. Um, the reason I've, I've updated it is for two reasons. Number one, um, we have this fantastic new bronzer that I have made part of my foundation routine every single day because it's fabulous. Like it is amazing. You're going to love it. Um, and number two, I don't know if you saw a video I did, I think last week about my um, journey with PCOS. Um, but I am on these medicines that are totally, I got mascara right there, right there. Oh, well, we'll take care of it with the foundation. Totally messing with my skin. Um, I am still using unique skincare products, which are fabulous. And I know if it wasn't for that, my skin would be even worse than what it is. Um, but you can see I have this, this, this is part of that cystic acne that is really um, common with PCOS. I got this baby right here. It's a mess. So I've had to update my routine a little bit just to help cover what I'm dealing with. So um, that's why I'm doing this today. I want you guys to see what I'm doing now um, and to show you the power of our BB cream. I always promote this as a lightweight foundation. Um, it gives light coverage, but I'm telling you, this has got some power behind it. And when you pair it with Unique's um, pressed powder, <laughs> couldn't even think of that. Um, when you pair it with Unique's pressed powder, it is, it's fabulous. Like, I can't wait to show you this. So um, that's what I'm doing. I've already done the top part of my eyes, and I am wearing Unique's new Splurge Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Dainty. That will be a video coming very soon. If you have not ordered your cream eyeshadow yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. This is amazing. This is the only cream eyeshadow I've ever used that goes on creamy, dries powdery soft, does not crease. I don't care. I have, I have a tendency to have super oily eyelids, not at all. I even use Unique's primer with it. Does not crease at all, okay? I'm telling you, you gotta try it. All right, so let's go ahead and get on to the um, foundation routine. I may have to stop this and do a voiceover depending on when my husband and my son come home. Um, so if I do, if you notice like, okay, well, this is a voiceover now, that is why they came home and it's hard for me to talk while they're around. Um, my son's only four and a half. So, um, yeah, he gets really confused when I'm talking into the camera. I don't know why. So, um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. And what I'm going to use is this is just going to be my basic skincare routine. I'm or skincare routine. No basic foundation routine. I'm not going to do a lot of contouring and highlighting, specifically not highlighting. Um, what I'm going to show you with the bronzer is going to be how I contour now, um, but I don't do a whole lot of the highlighting as much unless it's for like a big event or something. I don't do a lot of the highlighting. Um, I really just focus on the contouring because, oh, hello. I mean, come on. So um, what I'm going to use is Unique's BB cream. I'm throwing it all over the place. I'm using the Unique's BB Cream in the shade Bisque. Um, this is kind of a universal shade. What I love about this product and a lot of Unique's um, foundations and powders is they're mineral based. So when they're mineral based, they blend really well with your skin tone. So as long as you're using something that's close to it, specifically the BB Cream and even our mineral concealers, um, they do a really good job of blending with your skin tone. So I'm going to be using the Bisque BB Cream and I'm going to be applying that first with my fingers and then I'm going to be smoothing it out with Unique's Blending Buds. These are already damp. Um, I have the big one and I have the little one for around my eyes. These are already damp. You use Beauty Blenders. These are actually called bl Blending Buds. <laughs> you use the Blending Buds. Um, while they're damp. You run them under water, you squeeze them a whole bunch of times, get lots of water in there, and then wring them out really, really good so they're just damp, um, and that's how you use them. It helps control how much um, product it is soaking up, so the product is staying on your face and not in the blending bud, and it also helps keep some uh, moisture in your skin as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the BB cream, and I'm just going to kind of dot it around my face, and I'm specifically going to make sure I get it on the areas where I have one of these little fancy bad boys. So we're just going to do this. And I am applying a little bit more than I normally would um, for the simple fact that, like I said, I am having some skin issues. So I do want to cover that up. 
and I should have totally pulled my hair back, but I did new color. Can you tell it's not all pink anymore? Okay, so I have this all over my face. Now I'm going to take this and all you're going to do is really just kind of dab it in. You're dabbing. You don't want to wipe or anything like that. Just dabbing it all in. And then once I do this, if I notice any areas that I need to go back in and redo, I can do that. Oh, I miss those bad boys over there. If you have PCOS or you know somebody with PCOS, you understand the struggle of the cystic acne. It's a struggle. Like, So what I'm doing, still just going all over. I totally need to wax my eyebrows. Just ignore my eyebrows in this video, please. I'm fortunate that I have naturally dark eyebrows, so I really don't have to fill them in unless I want to. But at the same time, they get so out of control. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to put just a little bit more on these areas. Because like I said, this is a lightweight foundation. But I love the fact that it doesn't really feel heavy on my skin. Even if I go back in and have to redo a couple areas... To add a little bit more coverage, it doesn't it doesn't feel heavy on my skin at all. And what's not covering up will get covered up with um what's it called? The pressed powder. I can't even think right now. It's been a while since I've done um a makeup tutorial. Just been going through some things, but I'm getting better now, so. I'll go under the eyes. That was just mascara. And the trick to if you get your smudge your mascara or get it somewhere where you don't want it, let it dry. When you let it dry, you can usually just wipe it off. Okay, so that did a really good job at just evening out my skin tone. And the rest of the little blemishes are going to be taken care of with my pressed powder. As soon as I can figure out where everything is. Okay, so I have Unique's pressed powder. This is the shade Velour. Um, this is what I use all the time. And so I am going to use Unique's powder puff brush. And I'm just going to swirl it around in the pressed powder. I get some on there and then I'm just going to do circular motions all over my face. And you can see that it's covering up those blemishes a little bit more. I don't, I do use occasionally, and I know you've seen me use it, Unique's Cream Foundation that comes in the compact as well. I don't use that as much when I have a lot of breakouts, just because I don't want to spread anything into the cream product. Because with my own, like when I'm doing somebody's makeup, I scoop a little bit out and do it that way. Um, but when I'm doing my own, I just have my own compact. And if I'm getting a breakout, I don't want to spread any bacteria in there. Even though I use a brush, I'm still dipping back in. So I kind of try to avoid it when I'm having breakouts. So that's why I like the BB cream. Because it does come in um, the tube that, or the bottle, whatever you want to call it. So you can see, with the help of the powder, that really helped diminish um, the no noticeability. Is that even a word? the noticeability, not I just invented it, of my breakouts. Um, 
So now that I have that done, I'm gonna go in with our bronzer. Have you used it? Totally me too, my dogs are barking. Just making sure my husband wasn't him. Okay, so this is the shade Sunset. Um, it comes in three different shades. There's Sunset, Malibu, and Hermosa. Sunset is the lightest. I'm super pale, as you can see. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how I use this product for me, and then I'm going to tell you a different way that you could use it as well. So here's the bronzer in Sunset. I am using Unique's blusher brush to apply it. The angle makes it for perf perfect application. Um, this bronzer has a matte side and then there's a shimmer side. I'm going to use the matte side for this because I'm contouring and I'm going to start just like I do all my other contouring right there um, in the hollow of my cheek on both sides. Now the reason I'm using the matte side is because if I were to contour with a shimmer it's going to make that area pop and the whole reason you want to contour is to kind of hide and diminish it. So I, that's why I'm using the matte side for it. So I'm just going to go and create that 3E, depending on what side um, you're working on, um, shape on my face with the bronzer. It's a 3 on one side, an E on the other side, and you can see it starts at my forehead, goes to my cheek, and then down to my neck. Just kind of um, brings the focus towards the center of my face and takes it away from those areas. Now I'm going to take Unique's Powder Puff Brush and I'm going to just use circular motions and blend all of that really well so there's no lines. Where I'm doing on my cheek is blending upwards. I'm not blending down. You never blend a contour down. Always blend it up um, to make it look the way it's supposed to look. Now if I wanted to use this as a regular bronzer, I would take that shimmer side and apply it on my cheekbones, along my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. That's what I was showing you there. Now I'm going to take Unique's blush in the shade Sweet. This is my favorite shade. And I'm going to apply it on the apples of my cheek and just kind of dab it on up. Just like that. Just in dabbing motions. I don't really sweep a lot with this. I just dab it on. And I love Sweet. It's a very pinkish peachish shade. Very, very pretty. Now I'm going to take that blusher brush or the powder puff brush in circular motions and blend my blush and um, the contour the bronzer together. And then I fixed my hair <laughs> and now I'm going to take um, Unique's Lip Stain. This is our new Stiff Upper Lip Lip Stain in the shade Skittish. If you love pink, you will love this shade. And I'm just going to do one coat on the uh, on my lips. Um, I apply it around the center of my lips and then I go back in with the pointy side of the brush or the pointy part and kind of use that to line. And on top, I draw a line down the center, and then I carve out my Cupid's bow like that. And um, after that, we will be all set. One coat, love the look, and it will last for hours. I love it. So I hope you guys like this video.